The number one thing to make your videos look professional is the lighting. People tend to say that gear does not matter. And it's true, as long as you've got your lighting on point. Hey, it's John Bear, so happy to see your beautiful face. And in this video, I'm gonna demystify lighting for you. I'm gonna make it really simple and I'm also gonna make it accessible. I'm not gonna recommend any super expensive lights that I've done in the past. I'm gonna recommend to you very cheap lights that you can get right now from Amazon to make your video look super professional. And then I'm gonna teach you the simple principles of how to make your lights work for you. And then once you apply these, any video will look professional, even if it's shot with your phone. Camera does not matter, lights matters. Roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm John Bear, and I'm on a journey to become a master videographer. So if that's something you wanna be along for, then hit that subscribe button down there. All right, so lighting. Why don't more people talk about lighting? Lighting is the most important thing to make your video look awesome. But the thing is, lighting is not sexy. People on YouTube will create content about like the newest cameras and then lenses, and they'll talk about these things forever. And that includes me as well, because that's exciting, of course, it's like, you know, lenses, oh. But now I'm at a point in my journey where I almost don't even care about the lens that I use. I don't care about the blurry backgrounds. I just care about the framing and the lighting. That's the things that make my image look awesome. So let's talk about it. The first thing you need to know is that you want a big surface for your lights. So I have in front of myself right now, a big soft box. A soft box is a sort of uh, thing that spreads the light over a larger surface. The result is that I get this soft light on my face, which makes everything look more professional. Look at this shot right here that I shot for myself. This is for my website where I'm selling my services as a videographer, johnbaird.com. In this scene, all I had was one light. It was the very same softbox that I'm using right now. For everything you're trying to do in life, there's always the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle, which dictates that 20% of the effort will give you 80% of the results. So, so here's the 80-20 rule for lighting have one softbox that is located at about 20 degrees or 25 degrees at an angle from your camera. So I'm looking at you here, that puts my light here. Everything else is just extra fluff. So for this shot that I used for my website where I sell my services, that's all that I did. I followed the 80-20 rule. You'll notice in the background that I have a tiny light that is lighting up the wall. Now, the purpose of this light is that it fools you into thinking this is a light source that's lighting up me. It does not make sense, but in the brain, it looks aesthetically pleasing. So this light is doing nothing. It's decoration, but it sort of feels like this is the thing that's lighting up me. Does that make sense? In lighting terminology, we call this the motivating light. All right, now you know most of the things that you need to know about lighting. Now let's move on to what lights to use. The light that I'm using right here is actually a really cheap light that I got from Amazon. If you search up the name Mount Dog, you will find they're selling a set of these lights for like 40 to 50 bucks. It's crazy cheap and it's also basically everything that you need. Now these aren't the most brightest lights or the most reliable, but they get the job done. That's what I'm using right now and it's good enough. It's basically just a stand, a softbox, and a classic light bulb. That's all you need. I'm actually very happy with these lights and if somebody were to ask me right now what they should get when starting a YouTube channel, I would tell them to just get these lights because it's a very low investment and then I would tell them to just start filming with their phone. The light is what makes your image look good, not the camera. Alright, so that's it for this video. Now you know 80% of what you need to know about lighting to make a video look awesome. Uh, if you want to learn more about lighting, I really recommend this course called The Lighting Secrets from Eric Thane. This is the course that I got that really just sort of opened my mind to how simple lighting can be and also how complicated it can be, but it's all fun stuff. This is the course that I recommend to all my videography friends, so definitely do check it out. Uh, I was lucky enough to talk to Eric Thane and ask him for an affiliate link, so if you do sign up using my link, uh, you'll support the channel at the same time and you get a bit of a discount, so it's a win-win. In this course, you will be taught by an actual industry professional on everything he knows about lighting. He will also show you different jobs that he's done and how he set up the lighting for those jobs. So it's just immense value for a pretty good price. Like I said at the beginning of this video, lighting is the number one thing to make your video look professional and cinematic. So if you wanna one-up your skills in lighting, 
this course is the course for you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. My name is John Bear, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.